Blessed and holy is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm praying that all my brothers and sisters are still seeking the presence of the Lord, that we are remaining in communions at home. In the meantime, as long as the Spirit gives me utterance, I will continue to give the message for those who speak English and for anyone in or outside of our church. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the word today is in Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42 the word is read and says in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named martha received him into her house and she had she had a sister called mary which also sat at jesus's feet and heard his word but martha was cumbered about much saying serving and came to him and said lord doest thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone bid her therefore that she help me and jesus answered and said unto her martha martha thou art careful and troubled about many things but one thing is needful and mary hath chosen that part which shall not be taken away from her Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. I really believe, church and people of God, friends out there, that God is calling us into a time of prayer. The title of the message is, One Thing is Needful. One thing is needful, or should we say, one is needful, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And Mary and Martha, we have see two different spirits here. We see a spirit of somebody whose heart is set after God, and we see a spirit of somebody who has much trouble, and the, and the Lord says, lay your burdens upon me for I careth for you cast all your worries and anxieties upon the Lord because that's not why he has us home and separated in our houses for all the things that we worry our minds about every day and all the responsibilities that we have every day that's not the reason why God has separated us in this moment I'm not saying that the coronavirus is um, sent down from God and all this trouble is from God but I'm saying that God has a habit of taking the bad things and using it for his good I'm saying that God is using this as a time of prayer otherwise you would never see a national day of prayer across the nation you will never see Guatemala humbling themselves in prayer and fasting the whole entire nation just like Nineveh did when Jonah preached the gospel you never would see some of these things you would never see some of the people getting saved that are getting saved and some of the people being restored that have walked away from the Lord God is using this for his good but if you're already saved and you already have a relationship, now's not the time to take it easy. Now's not the time to relax because Jesus is walking in our midst and Jesus is coming to visit our houses. You'll see and hear that Martha, just like any other person, when you have guests come to your house, when you know that there's visitors coming, you're worried about how clean is the house, how good is the food that you're cooking. You want to have something to serve them. And this was Martha's human worries. Just like every other human being, especially women, we are worried about those things when the guests come to the house and that's what Martha is worried about here she's worried about much serving she's cumbered the Bible says the word cumbered which means hindered or cluttered with many things anything and things that are blocking your way that's what it means to be cumbered she was cumbered about many things that she was not even able to enjoy her guests or understand the reason why it was that he was passing through her house Mary on the other hand understood that this was just no ordinary visitor that he wasn't coming to dine he wasn't coming to see how good the food was he could care less about what the house looked like he can care less about all the serving that's why Jesus said that Mary had chosen the good part that it was not going to be taken away from her Mary understood the importance of hearing the voice of the Lord as sitting at the feet of the Lord and sometimes God has to separate us in our houses sometimes God has to allow these things to happen because even when we go to the church house sometimes we are cumbered about much serving we are cumbered about who's singing we're cumbered about who's preaching we're cumbered about who's coming in and out the doors if everything has been in order and yes God is a God of order and there is a order in the house of God God demands that we keep order and responsibilities in the house of the Lord but there are people that are more worried about how clean is the toilet than they are about hearing the message the voice of the Holy Ghost what it is that God has to say to us and sometimes especially those who serve a lot get cumbered about these things and we're more worried about the order of the church than we are worried about hearing what Jesus has to say Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus because she understood that his voice was more important than any of that and this is the reason why we are separated in our houses God wants us to hear his voice God wants us to open the door the door is the Lord is knocking at the door will you open up for him today will you let him into your life into your heart to hear what he has to say will you open the doors of your home for Jesus Christ hallelujah Ecclesiastes 5 1 says keep thy foot when thou goes to the house of God and be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of fools for they consider not 
not that they do evil. It is evil to go to the house of the Lord and walk out and not even know what it was that the preacher said. It is evil to be more worried about how the house of God looks, if the floor is clean or not, than it is to worry about if the message that was being preached is from the Bible or not. We need to hear the voice of the Lord. God and Jesus is coming to visit us. Hallelujah. And he intends for us to hear what his spirit has to say. If anybody hears the voice of the Lord today, do not harden your hearts. Listen to what God has to say to you. Mary, you know, she was, she was at the feet of Jesus. She was right there hearing what it was that Jesus Christ had to say to her. She knew that every word that this special visitor spoke out of his mouth was vitally important for her life. Everything that he had to say was more important about than helping Mary with the things in the order she could care less. And God wants us to be like Mary. What kind of spirit are you operating in? Are you operating in a spirit of Mary? Or are you operating in a spirit of Martha? Because in this time, even though we're here secluded in our houses and the the Almighty God has taken down all the idols. He's taken down all the entertainment centers. He's taken away most of our responsibilities. Some of us are not even working physical jobs right now. God has set us here to hear his voice, but there are some people that are going to be more worried about cleaning their house and doing this and that, doing all the other things, the responsibilities at home that they don't have time for when they're working than they are about hearing the voice of Jesus Christ and they are about sitting at the feet of Jesus. God has ordered this for a reason. Our footsteps are ordered by the Lord. Did you not know that hallelujah glory to the lamb of god that taketh away the sins of the world and god wants us to pay attention to him now that he has cleared your schedule do you have time to listen to him do you have time to fellowship with him do you have time to commune with him do you have time to get intimate with jesus christ because that is exactly what he wants and that is exactly why he would allow this to happen it's not that he's pleased about those who are dying but he are, is pleased about those who are being saved it's not that he's pleased about the sick but there is power in his wounds by thy stripes we are healed and he is pleased when people go out and share the gospel when people get involved with the Lord when people start calling their families and telling them about the Lord Jesus Christ when the backsliders get restored and start calling upon his name he's not pleased with the destruction but he will use evil for his good he is pleased though as the result that people are finally calling out to Jesus nations are calling out to Jesus the doors of people's houses are being opened to the Lord Jesus Christ and that's what he wants are you opening your door what are you choosing to do with this time that God has given you to be with him. Let's look at a few verses. I'm going to read them to you and you can meditate on these verses. In Psalms 46 verse 10 it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in all of the earth. He is being exalted. Right now every nation, every tribe, every language is calling upon the Lord Jesus Christ and yes there are still unbelievers. Yes there are still Christ rejectors but there are also people across the face of this earth that never took a second, second thought about Jesus Christ before and they are opening up their doors for this special visitor. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. This is a time of renewed strength. This is a time of prayer and fasting. This is a time to renew ourselves in the spirit of the living God and be filled with the presence of God. It doesn't matter what your house looks like at the end of this pandemic. It matters what your heart looks like in the presence of God. It matters how full of the Holy Ghost that you have got yourself filled. This time is to be used wisely. We have not much time, so while we have the time, we might might as well use it wisely. Amen. It's a time to teach your children the Bible. It's a time to pray with them. It's a time for the ma families and the matrimonies to unite and spend the time that they didn't have before in the presence of the Lord. It's time to restore biblical foundations. It's time for Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll leave you with this verse. Psalm, Psalms 27 verse 8 says, you have said, seek my face. And my heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek? Are you seeking the face of the Lord? Are you seeking his face. Is your heart screaming out for Jesus? Let me tell you something. Every man, woman, boy and girl that is born into this earth, their soul knows and wants their creator. Are you opening your heart to seek the face of the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. I hope and I pray with all my heart that all my brothers and sisters are using this time wisely, that God will give me the strength to use this time wisely, that my family will use this time wisely, that my church will use this time wisely, that our, our, our ears and our hearts will be open 
and our doors will be open to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this message that you have laid upon my heart this morning. Let us all receive the spirit of Mary and not the spirit of Martha. Let us not be cumbered about much worries. Let us cast our feet upon the Lord Jesus, for we know that you careth for us. My God Almighty, we pray that you would deliver us from all distraction, from all confusion, from all discouragement, that we would take this time to be in your presence and that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, that those who are lost will continue to get saved, that those that have fallen will continue to be restored, that those who are sick, that you would heal them and that you would use this time for us to speak spread the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the hospitals and all those sick places. My God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let your name be glorified. Let your name be honored and exalted. And we know and believe and trust that you have plans for our good and not for evil. We love you, Lord. We praise you. And we say these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. God bless each and one of you in the name of Jesus.